A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within. And today we are going to talk about humility. God wants us to actually receive respect with the power and the virtue of humility within us. Anytime we have any conflict with anybody, it's generally because of lack of humility and we are getting into proving some point or the other. I am right. I am right. I am right. You should understand from my point of view. You are not on the right path. I am telling you, you should do this and this is where the conflict starts in any relationship and this is where God comes in between us and tells us stop this act of ego and bring about humility. So let's see what does Baba have to say. Baba says, may you be respected by all and easily achieve success with your speciality of humility. May you be respected by all and easily achieve success with your speciality of humility. The details are like this. The easy way to receive everyone's respect is to be humble. Souls who conduct themselves with the speciality of humility easily achieve success. But if I am somebody who wants to be ahead of everybody, imagine it for yourself also. I want to be in the limelight. I want to be ahead of everybody. I want my name to come. I have done so much of effort and they don't recognize my effort. They don't recognize my worth. I am somebody who is great, then we limit ourselves. We don't learn new things. We limit ourselves. And we become limited and our growth is also limited. But a humble person will go into every corner of the world and learn about everything in the world and absorb it. That soul will be like a sponge who will be absorbing everything. And because of which people will love him because that soul be able, will be able to help out in every area of their life. That soul will be able to make everybody comfortable and contented whereas a soul with ego a soul with ego will find themselves limited and limitation comes because of ego when we have ego of anything within us the limitations don't allow us to go ahead and when people sense that ego within us and when they see that we are limited we are thinking only in a limited direction then it becomes difficult to relate to the other person and that's where ego makes the other person go away from us. So God says, to be humble means to have self, your self-respect. Now the self-respect over here doesn't mean that I'm respecting my qualifications, respecting my uh, achievements in the world or what I've done in the world or whom I've worked with and what my names and laurels are all about. That is not self-respect. Self-respect means, first of all, that I am the child of God. And God who is the knower of everything. How can a child of God have ego about anything? A child of God will be unlimited thinker. Will be able to think from every aspect. Will be able to understand every soul in every aspect. What that soul is going through. What that soul is feeling. What that soul means to say. What that soul is trying to say. And we will not block that soul's energy. Whereas a soul who has got Humility, opposite of humility would be ego, would be somebody who doesn't have self-respect. That means, will feel that I know everything, will be thinking from a very limited point of view, will be thinking that I have done so much, I have achieved so much in my life and the other person sitting in front of me doesn't understand my worth. That is ego. And because of ego, we take different steps and difficult steps in our life. And for some period of time, the ego makes us feel very light. That ego of what I have done, what I have achieved in my life and what I have been doing, that ego makes us feel lighter for a little bit amount of time. And when that ego goes away, that false self-respect goes away, suddenly our whole world is shaken up and we realize that what we did was a wrong thing. That's why God says, be in the pure self-respect. That means I am a soul, I am a child of Supreme Godfather. And I accept and I respect everybody in front of me. Everybody's views have to be respected. And what somebody wants me to do also has to be respected. What they want me to do, what outcome they want out of me, whether it be a family, whether it be a job, whether it be a business, I need to be ready to say yes to everything. Because in that, my growth is there. But I become redundant and I become limited when I have the ego of declaring myself on the basis of my previous achievements, previous accomplishments, previous accolades and I limit myself because I am in that limited self-respect. So God wants us to become unlimited. He wants us to explore the unlimited 
self respect what is that self respect is what we learn in brahma kumaris the self the real self and the real self respect then god says but to be humble does not mean to bow down but for everyone to bow down to you because of your speciality and love humility is not about bowing down in front of others that's just not humility humility is that other people recognize your speciality recognize that you are so moldable like a real gold that in any situation you can mold yourself and that's what people love about you you are not like a stand standing tree which is so tall that nobody can bend it and when people try to ask you to do something or ask you to change you're just like that tall tree who's not bending in the end it's cut away that means somebody will replace you so god says according to the present time this is the main basis for constantly and easily achieving success because if we have got ego within us we actually increase the ego in other people so ego confronts ego in other person humility will mellow down the ego in the other person and god says for achieving success those who are humble in every action relationship and connection become victorious jewels in that relationship in that action in that situation that's the only method that means i start becoming a listener i start respecting everybody's views i start respecting everybody's point of view and i start respecting what others want out of me too that's humility that doesn't mean that you keep on changing for everybody around it means that you have your core belief that is a self respect which we learn in brahma kumaris i am a soul i am moldable i am here to learn different aspects and every soul is who is telling me what to do is not using me but is making me explore my unlimitedness with this attitude we can grow and with this om shanti